Hello viewers, it's the me and team. Welcome back to Let's Play Here's Might and Magic 5. We're on mission 5 of the Sullivan campaign. And since last time, pretty much the only thing I've done is build up this town down here that I captured. And... Well, since Deidre decided to run into the middle here, we have some consolidated AI forces, unfortunately. Now fortunately, it seems like their dragons are not appearing and that Deidre has her forces scattered. Now, will I be able to deal with that in a city? I don't know. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out Deidre, and I felt that that's pretty important because she's been chasing me around, easily capable of killing me if she ever caught me, for some time now. And so just exacting revenge upon her would be nice. I'm pretty sure I could beat those forces out of the city. But in it, I don't know. And so I will probably run past it and take the other necro town and then just get huge. But I wanted to show this. And yeah, I've built up quite a lot of undead stuff now. I pretty much have everything I can get without the Tear of Asha. Because yeah, I even built another dragon tombstone. I mean, we're operating on full growth here. And I am loving it. And then, of course, if I have the extra money, I can just make more undead. But that's not happening for now. And meanwhile, these guys are probably just building up more and more forces. It makes me nervous to uh, think of what's going to be there when I get up. Oh, maybe I can't win this. I... hmm. Well, this is interesting. I don't know if this is the way to play this, though. Their liches can't really do anything to me. Ghosts are kind of a troll all wall unit. Suffering. Four thousand skeletons. That is problematic, not gonna lie. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> so what do I have? I think I focus skeletons, vampires, and skeleton archers. And yet even so, it seems like getting rid of them is the priority, so we're gonna do that. I mean, I have the dragons and the wraiths, but they have the other things. And I don't think I have any movement range advantage on good old Lucretia here. The only thing I could picture doing is inching up, but no, in fact, she has a movement range advantage on me. I'm going to inch up. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of ghosts, too. And I just moved myself in range of them. Brilliant. What? No! How do you even defend with your hero? I feel like getting rid of the vampires might be useful. Aw, oh, come on, man. 
Is that necessary? Phantom Force is on them, and they can dodge. Can't say I'm a fan of that. Um, is there any way I can hit them without hitting myself? Not really. And those skeletons over there are still causing me problems as well. I just can't leave Phantom Forces ghosts lying around. I don't want to hit my own units. I mean, the simple if annoying solution here is to just attack them with something like this. Just get rid of them. You gotta be kidding me. Oh. Okay, so fact of the matter is, that's not going to work. <laughs> They're going to completely own me if I get too close to that town. But I'm seeing difficulty as to how I can pr approach this then. One thing I could do is take this route. I mean, it's a good week's travel, but I can... Yeah, that's what I'll do. We'll just chain up to the other town. <laughs> and if they want to keep camping there, I can eventually overtake them, I would imagine. But this might be a while. This might be the longest map I've ever played in that capacity. Whoops. What's the fastest way? Yeah, because then I can loop around. Which has its appeal. I can even summon additional creatures from my undead town. Whoa, where are you off to? Oh, Deidre's, um... Oh, this is interesting. So Deidre's like their runner, who carries the most troops, and then they have this stuff. So what's in the city right now? Nothing. And unfortunately, I can't get there yet. But what I want to do then, for sure, is to intercept Deidre. And the, um... A lot of the other stuff would be icing. Meanwhile, we'll just, uh... We'll just bring in new troops. In fact... If it isn't sulfur at this point, not sulfur, if it isn't mercury, sell it. Because I'm not building anything else unless I take another town. Now I want to make sure I'm building at the right town, so let's go up here and try and recruit. Oh. Well, I probably don't want to bother with that anyway. Can you still summon them? Yeah. Obviously we want the biggest ticket items as a priority. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I need to catch Deidre. That's what I need to do. I need to stop the flow of bonus troops into the town. Or maybe that hero is, is the new Deidre now. 
But regardless, I think it's time to reclaim. Although I'm taking the rather circuitous path, I would imagine. No, we can't go that way though. That is a no cell. Can I cut through here? The answer is no. And yet... Well, just follow the road for now. Once I'm sufficiently over there, the pathing will switch favorably, I'm sure. And then we'll be able to work with it. Time to dump troops here. I think the immediate recruitment priority is uh, Raven's area. She might be able to f siphon extra troops to help. But then next is uh, Talonar's. Whoa! Lots of shadow dragons. Dude, I don't care. <laughs> it's not with the uh, legions of skeleton archers. Oh, I didn't pass the stuff over to him. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Well, in that case, I guess I might as well leave the beaten path here a little bit. Kind of curious how the teal forces will respond to this particular threat. <laughs> Take the city and raise it. I couldn't even do that. I, I mean, I wouldn't do that if I could. It would be a losing maneuver. What the heck? Now what's on you? And where are you going? Th that hero is acting confused. Lucretia does not seem to know what's up. <laughs> she seems to be very much not sure where to go at all. Which shoots me well. How tough are these garrisons? Might I fight my way through them? And then like summon creatures while waiting for Raven to catch up. I think it's worth a shot. Now, what are you doing? Oh, that's Deidre. Oh, that's just random troops, I guess. Get over there, Talonar. It's time to make your troops undead. And upgrade them. Kinda pricey. But I still think it's easily the strongest thing I can do in the long term. Because otherwise, I just have no way of effectively putting four towns worth of troops together if they are Haven, not Haven, if they are Sylvan variants. And you never went back, so you can go back. It's crazy. Now, am I going to get town? Swiped? Is that going to happen? What do I have on me? Can I break this? I think I can. And the losses won't be, like, excruciating either. So, let's give it a go, I guess. Oh, yeah. I don't even have to micro that. Well worth it. Ooh, what's this? Um... Nope. <laughs> I will pass on that. This is... probably better. Maybe I'll get these artifacts just for their strength and won't turn them into the seer. Forget the phoenixes. I'll just crush all those spectral dragons. And anything here I want to dispose of? 
<laughs> Good lib. All right. Oop. I forgot some important things. Whoa. This is bad because I'm going to lose town ground and I don't think I can afford to do that too much. Oh, you go where you were. And I got everything I needed here from my hero, right? I think so. Just need to summon the normal undead troops. Yeah, so hit the well up and get back underground. And she's close enough. <laughs> I don't know where they're getting those skeleton archers. It's a rather crazy amount of skeleton archers. There we go. Might as well make the most of this casting. I think I'll get enough mana back to be serviceable. Alright, let's go. <laughs> now the real question is can I hit them day 7 or day 1 and prevent them from cycling more for me than vice versa. Or just hit them while they're split up and so that I can actually kill one of them. That would be handy too. I don't want to lose Raven if I can help it. I don't think she has access to summon creatures though. Right. I keep forgetting, like I'm thinking they're attacking my town, and that's probably because they ought to be attacking my town. But they're attacking mines that Raven captured and host with her uh, mine garrison ability or whatever. Oh yeah. Already maximum because I've spent so much time dallying on moving you. I'm gonna want to eventually pick up some troops from here as well. Man, I could do with some Hom Three Town Portal. <laughs> that would have been nice. That hero is not actually coming for me, is it? It's hard to picture that. I should be stronger now. Horde, horde, throng, lots, sounds. A legion of zombies? What the heck? Okay. Well, we're just gonna have to do what we can here. Starting with this fight. I mean, I lost spectrals there is what I primarily lost. I feel like the dogs would cause me grief. I don't think I can get around that though. Here. Spectral dragons aren't very good. I mean, look at that, they have 60 more hit points, 4 more attack, their damage isn't that much more. Like, normally they're not worth it. 
but I think in this case they are worth it. Just because I can afford them, for the most part. Wow, they have many spectral dragons as I do. Well, let's take advantage of some of my destructive magic, at least from a might perspective. And since I can't reach much else, completely obliterate them. Oh yeah, that's much better. And since they can't retaliate if I miss, that's helpful. Hoo hoo hoo. Oh wait, no, those are zombies. It's these guys who wouldn't have. Well, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> They're both going to move. I feel like killing this many more of these is more advantageous, so I'm going to do that. And my zombies can do nothing. Oh, why are they splitting up who they're attacking and getting retaliations on? That's silliness. Well, I think at this point, just dropping a fireball on the liches and having something attack them will suffice. And then, while not very good as level 7s, they're still a bit stronger than level 6s. Spectral Dragon. So, g getting hit by 40 of them is not a joke. Alright, artifacts. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> um. What is this? I don't need morale. Double rings of vitality. Defense minus one. I don't really need to decrease, decrease the spells. Man, I have three rings of vitality. I don't have anything that replaces this. Yikes, that staff of the netherworld. Okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> That's pretty much the uh, victory I was looking to achieve. I am recording. Yes. Okay. Good. Um, I'm not out of the woods yet, certainly, as um, four thousand plus skeletons is just stupid. But I will now be able to take that city and probably run and grab the other one, and <laughs> with that, the reinforcements associated with them. Better than having nothing, you can probably snipe mines again. Interestingly, I also once again have the Evercold Icicle. <sighs> yeah, I don't think the computer's too happy with my uh, success there. It's coming back for me now. Oh, it's Deidre. Why did I lose so much? No. I shouldn't lose that much. Not unless she's like nuking me to high heck or something. Here you go. Lame. Don't attack my vampires. Don't attack anything of mine. Come and get it. So, we'll just light them on fire and wait. Oh, I cannot reach with you. And that does not appear to matter. Not so strong without your army, are you now, Deidre? But I'm strong with my army. 
Because I'm basically employing your tactics of spam the bejesus out of everything. Wow, she's, um... Fast. I don't see any point in approaching, though, because I'm not going to be able to kill anything. I give it the opportunity to attack me first. And I can probably kill them with just this. Actually, can I kill with just the ice bolts? Easily with a follow-up attack from the liches. Alright, time to get more artifacts, I think. Oh, well. Where is it? I think that's better than a vitality ring. Staff of the Netherworld. <laughs> I don't need this. I have Meteor Shower. What else goes there? Man. I don't know. But okay. Looks like we get to... What? You're kidding me, right? You didn't build this? <laughs> okay, whatever. I guess I don't get liches. And I will end my turn there. And explore what's in this direction. A dungeon military post? Horde of Spectrals. I can easily destroy a Horde of Spectrals now. Very easily. What's that hero doing? But what was the point of going down this path? I feel like there's another town this way, perhaps. Of course, she can't handle the Horde of Spectrals. I don't know that I have the, um, the chops to kill them. Definitely not a Legion of Imps. Although, if I were to share my army across, that's a different matter. And that's certainly true. That that would be worth my while. <laughs> Can't really raise much dead from the undead while using a non-undead hero. But... There is a, a large number of living troops. Oh well, no, but it's dark energy now, so it's not as broken. But nevertheless, I should be able to get a decent amount of stuff by just bringing across a couple basic things. Okay. So you can kill the imps. Yeah, pursue them. Oh. Actually, yeah, with dark energy, that's probably not worth it. Plus, I miscalculated something important, which is actually having room to put them without having to get rid of all my troops, so... Oh, well. It certainly wouldn't hurt to kill some stronger stuff, though, and apply the dark energy. This hero's tearing back after me. Where are they getting all these hellhounds? Got me there. No idea. Yeah. <coughs> Man, I can't afford anything ever. You'd think with five towns I could afford some stuff. It's level sevens. If I had only level sixes everywhere, I could afford it. I do wonder if I'm spending my money the way I should be. 
I feel like if I could kill that hero and control the gold mines, though, and sell resources, I could probably scrape my way to my goal. Just a horde of lights? Oh, another bag of endless troll gold. Um, yeah, just pick things up for now. Is that another Helm of Chaos? I guess she could take the Bank of Endless Gold off and carry it. <laughs> that would be something. I'm just gonna leave him here so that I can inflict extremely minor casualties on my opponent. And keep recruiting units. opponent didn't move. Oh no, she moved. She most certainly moved. Um, I think that's actually worth it over the zombies. It's such a shame, but I don't want to cheat and reload to get more troops like that. And let's see here. I mean, you're talking about, what, 5,000 hit points over... Well, it's actually pretty comparable, but the higher attack and defense skill is where we're uh, looking at here. Yeah, I think these are better. These can be extremely annoying. Whites and rates. Not to mention they have better initiative. What are lots of titans guarding, out of curiosity? A couple treasure chests. Oi. What, there's nothing over here? Oh, except for a horde of spectral dragons? That's interesting. about to get destroyed by these things. It's those skeletons, man. That's the worst. What I think I'll do with Finden then is I'll take out these spectral dragons, grab the stat up building down here, which I haven't had a chance to visit yet, and then warp back to the elf area and just accrue even more forces. We're just gonna get stupid numbers of forces. Okay. Starting with her. Sooner or later, I will be able to outproduce, right? I mean, they're not going to eternally outproduce me, I would hope. Yeah, this is not gonna end well. <laughs> Teals. Oh, I killed a whopping four vampires. Oh. Join, 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 join. Okay, no. No such luck. Would've been nice. Nice and cheesy, but nice. Actually, you guys camp it. I don't think spectrals are fast enough to be a serious threat. And cross, and like a, oh, they are. They can cross. But not if I back up. Wow. Attack skills really uh, can hurt them. 
And I think here is our best opportunity. Ah! You've got to be freaking kidding me with the misclick. I guess I was going to get hit by them no matter what I did. Still, that's kind of annoying. Just a smidge annoying. Okay, just wait there. Good job. We fight ghost dragons. These wretched fallen godlings do not belong here. <laughs> Except in my army. Wait, what? <laughs> Whoops. Well, there is that little detail. So if you're going to attack me from there, I'm going to see if I can't counter cheese you back. Although I might be losing my hero because of that. It's still nevertheless potentially powerful. Oh no, you know what I could do? Is if Lucretia wanders away too far, as in like right now, yeah. Towers will have trouble killing some of this stuff, so we're gonna summon some creatures. <laughs> and I will shine of Netherworld them if need be. And let's just go retake this. Can I make it in time? Maybe not. I might be able to no, I there's no way I could kill a full week's worth of undead. Not unless my enemy had no hero there. Yeah, it looks like our friend is out for blood. Three turns, not gonna make it. Okay. So in that case, go above ground actually. You run here too. We're gonna have a mass meeting party. Everyone's invited. Interesting. I might actually be able to skirt close enough. Like here. And is anyone in the town? No. Get out of there, one way or another. Ooh, I made it. Alright, if it's not Mercury, we're fire sailing this. Been doing that before, and it's quite valuable to be able to spend your money this way with mines. I mean, that's a lot of gold I just got. Probably enough to buy out all of this, yep. Um. Oh, I need to upgrade the whites. Can they reach me if I go there? Yeah. I think Raven is kind of stuck where she is for the moment, but I might be able to shake her loose. I really want another good hero. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Maybe next week. Because I could use uh, the mines near there. And just to hound the AI by taking mines over and over again. I will circle around on Raven like this. I'm not shy about that. I'll just keep running. And then when she eventually catches me, I'll just flee. a favorite tactic for everyone. Alright, I will even trade Mercury at this point because... Oh no, I can't do that. I mean, I can, but I need to save some for the dragons that are in route. Oh, okay. 
Get out of the way. And we're going to make undead troops. Yay! And actually... Just dump them in so that there's room for the next. <laughs> That's nasty. It's one of my favorite things about Undead. Quite evil, too. It does have that appeal to it. Okay. So now you get in here, and you also convert lots and lots of innocent troops to the dead. I'm a good person. Alright. Back down for you, back to your base for you. Now I just need to find a way to afford all the upgrades. Oh, it doesn't seem like it's that bad. I'll probably be able to move next turn. Now what does she have on her? Horde, horde. I don't understand where... what? A legion of ghosts? She had like 800 before. Legion of zombies. Swarm of vampires. I wonder if they're getting like scripted... ...junk upgrades or something. Or like huge amounts of uh, troops from nothing. You know, they're just manifesting troops from thin air. Oh, we'll find out. But I have a swarm of wraiths, so... We'll see how this works. <laughs> Go! I could, um, possibly sack... Raven... to get that town without the enemy hero there. I might not have to sack her now. That might have been what I needed. We'll find out. She might town portal back. I, I don't know that the, the computer will do that as long as there's an active enemy hero that's near them though that they're trying to kill. I suppose we shall see. Okay. Chesapeake. I want more Necro heroes. I guess I haven't killed that many though. <laughs> so it's not really realistic to expect to get more of them. Oh wait a minute. That's not right. Ugh, things I forget. Yeah. Yeah, they'll town portal back if they get the kill. No. Stop the turn. I want to load my game. <laughs> so annoying. I hate when I forget to do things like that. I'm just playing too quickly. I'm sorry, guys. Ah, <laughs> oh, of course. It's going to have this... Uh, yeah, okay. It's this autosave that I want. I, I feel like Nikolai in this position has the potential to replace the Silver Surfer from the Super Nintendo game and his, like, kneel of shame and self-disgust. But... All right, let's try this again. The 
Did you ever visit that? No, somehow. I don't think it matters since you probably won't be seeing action, but go for it. Alright, take two. It'll be annoying if Teal still catches her. Man, I, I, this feels like a game you play with like a little kid or something. You know, you're trying to catch them when they're running around the couch. <laughs> and, uh, they're just running the opposite direction from you, or vice versa, in circles around the couch. And you have to, like, time it and, you know, bait them in. Even if you're much faster, it's a real pain to just keep running in circles until you catch them. That takes a while. These little kids, man, they change directions like nothing because they don't have any velocity. <laughs> or no, they don't have any momentum, I should say. They, Their velocity is not great, but it's their lack of momentum that makes it really uh, a challenge. And then if there's any obstacles uh, between which they can fit more easily than you, it just gets a little bit more difficult to deal with. So, you know. You gotta watch out for that. Perfect. We got her. We got her in that loop. That loop. I don't need to hold her much longer. I just don't know if the AI will respond to... You know, like, oh, I'm being threatened. Maybe I should warp back. Or if she will continually attempt to catch and destroy Raven instead. I'd believe either. Actually, I'm going to save money because it looks like I can t turn 7 capture this and then try and hide out. So we got a horde of liches and wraiths. If those numbers increase, I'm calling shenanigans. Yeah, unless she town portals back now, um, I make it there before her. And I take it on a week that's really inconvenient too. Oh, I can take it right now. Unfortunately, I don't think... Yeah, I, I think I'm closest to uh, a Selvan town, so I can't easily recruit reinforcements. Not that it appears to matter. That's probably just arrow tower stuff. And therefore not a lot I can do about it. Now it's fully built, <laughs> except for the Mage Guild, but I have everything I can get from an undead Mage Guild. No, I want to recruit from there next turn, that's right. Oh, she can't tie on Portal back now. <laughs> the computer wants to do with this situation. But I know what I want to do, and that's get more troops. Anything I care about here? No. Okay. I think I do want to eventually hire another hero down there, though. Just to run up a healthy amount of troops. And reclaim mines on the way. What? She has instant travel? Come on now. And that does make the, the game lag. Like, the computer is not very good with um, using instant travel in an efficient manner. Oh. Let's see. Let's see if I can successfully defend against freaking insane numbers of enemy troops. But she doesn't have... hang on. Like, I have a horde of shadow dragons. 
and more ledges, much more ledges. That legion of ghosts is problematic. The one advantage I am going to have here is that her forces will not be able to enter. So what I think I'm going to do... Yeah, I think I can win this siege. I think so. I have an idea how, too. Man, that'll be great! <laughs> it depends how good her uh, catapult skills are, too. <laughs> We're gonna try and destroy the catapult in ammo cart in camp <laughs> with the massive damage reduction you get um, from from being in a town on ranged. I can probably tank even that many skeletons. This is gonna be a protracted fight though because we haven't even touched what happens above once we're finished down here. Man, I didn't take a lot of losses there, but I'm going to try, um, I'm going to see what I can do here. Um, yeah, just, just, you guys sit tight there. I got this racer fine, like, here. I don't see any need to expose my units needlessly. In fact, we'll just do this. Now, did she take out my wall? Nope. Can I easily destroy this? You betcha, but I think my skeletons can too, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh. Yeah, hit this. And this. How many shots now? Eight shots. Yep. Get out of here. Suffering, huh? I don't know about that one. And you, even fewer shots. can't cast weakness on them. Oh, I have the Evercold Icicle, don't I? Actually, let's just imbue Arrow with, um... Ice Bolt. And Rain of Arrows. <laughs> now it's just time to kill Flyers. Wait. Wait. Huh. Weakness, huh? Oh, well, shoot. I imbued my arrow, but now I want to cause these guys some grief. Or actually, fireball's probably better. Yeah, 
The only problem with doing this is that I open myself to being attacked by her troops. How quickly do my wraiths move again? Yeah, see? It's not a wise play to run out there to my death, so... I'm not gonna do that. Please hit. Nope. Zombies... Can suck one. Why are they not attacking me with their ranged? Just sit tight. Just sit tight, everyone. Jeez, that hurts. How much you want to bet his retaliation will hit me? Yep. You gotta be kidding me with this. I can stone spikes to get- no, no, I cannot. I mean, I can just attack that. No, I'll miss. Oh, and those freaking ghosts are there, too. Man, that's horse crap. You can't just leave Phantom Forces on the field. Heh, <laughs> lol. Well, since you won't retaliate anyway, I might as well take a pot shot. And then just, you know, completely obliterate them outright. That's helpful. Can I... Let's try it. It's just amazing. I hate that unit so much. Like, words cannot describe how much BS I think ghosts are. <laughs> but that shouldn't surprise anyone. I find that even more distasteful. Instant move Phantom Forces, baby. Get out of here. Haha, -ha, lucky miss. Derp. Come on. This is... Yeah, suck it. Let me guess, they get all their shots too. I know, they clone the amount of shots present at the moment. Can we get someone to attack the skeletons, please? Oh, well, I'm just going to attack the normal skeleton since they get a move. And the Phantom Forces skeletons are going to get imbue arrow. Oh no, what did I imbue on my arrow? That was a wasted turn. Oh wait, no, I can. I can rain of arrows. There we go. There we yeah, now, now I should be alright. In fact, if I have access to Ray's dead, it would behoove me to take advantage. While, uh, Lucretia stupidly sits there, unable to do much. As her forces 
run out of arrows. Although it wouldn't hurt to whittle this down a bit. Do I have raised dead? I do. It's not very powerful though. So I might want to be a little sparing with it for the moment. Although what's her um What's her uh, mana at now? Oh, I don't have to be that sparing with it. They're going to be out of shots in a moment if they're not already. Well, I guess I burned their initiative so hard that I don't they're uh, Their shots are more numerous than I thought because they haven't used them. Yeah, okay. Do my liches go first? I think it would be better to... Um, just attack and hit them with my imbued shot. <laughs> there we go. No. <laughs> Man, those catapult destruction that <laughs> really ruins them. Yeah, I'll get rid of the seed uh, first aid tent too, even though it does nothing at this point. If I kill the ballista, will she run? I don't want her to run. Oh yes, now I will start losing dragons to auto attack. This might take a while still. Maybe not that long. And I'm probably not going to outperform the auto combat because the auto combat um, on town sieging is really weak. Like it, you lose a lot when sieging a town. I really don't want to go out there and like walk into gobs of zombies. I guess it's only a matter of time. I wonder if I can get close enough for full damage. <laughs> there we go, he got closer. That was nice of him. <laughs> and we'll just spam raise dead now because we can. Two kills? There it is. <laughs> Arrow towers can maybe finish that up? No, not even close. I could kill a lot of them now. Who else haven't I hit raise the head on? There we go. that or that. I think I'll do this and let my full damage attackers hit there. Stupid weakness spell. <laughs> Sooner or later the race will go down. There we go. Starting to look a little better. Can I hit them and then run back in? Yeah, it looks like it. Nope, nope, I can't. Uh, no. That's not good at all. Well, we can do this and try. Try and manipulate. I'm not going to be able to reach with them.
Not my best moment there in terms of the losses. Now, get back in there. How is my mana? 103? <laughs> there we go. I think the computer can only kill a finite number of troops per attack. I believe that is a limitation. Although I think I'd rather just end the battle at this point. We did it. We beat her. Yeah, I lost a lot more than in the auto combat. Well, scouting beats navigation in this situation. Okay, I'm gonna keep those results though. Magic resistance, that could be handy. Of all casters. Now that would remove my ice ability, but it would give me more spell power. Well, that's better than that for sure. Ooh! Unfortunately, decreasing morale is not going to do anything for me. Hmm. Now that, on the other hand, is good. Because then I can do this and have boosted fireballs. Pendant of Mastery, which I could have picked up uselessly on the last map, is here. Quite nice. Not really, it makes no difference at all. Alright, so... We are now in control of the bottom area here. And we have some capturing to do. Let's bust these garrisons. <laughs> Man. That was a long, protracted fight. And the problem is, there's still a ton of enemy troops to deal with. Or a ton of enemies and troops to deal with up top. I cringe to think of how many skeletons Nikolai has amassed by now. But needless to say, it's a copious quantity of skeletons. We'll just put it that way. Tons of them. Freaking tons. And you are actually level 30 yourself now. Man, it would be nice to have all these immunities if I were using living troops. But let's look at it against what I have currently. Oh well, this is strictly better though. It's a shield. I don't have any shields. All well, that would make sense. As to why I can't put anything on. Well done. Let's get the remainders. Ah, having Raven is nice. Now where's that warp that takes me up? Monolith two-way or something. I know I saw one. There's one up here, but is that the only one? And what's at the bottom right? I think it's Merit's Exploration. I could have sworn I saw one on this route, though. Because I want to send a Junk Hero through it to explore. But I want to hire my junk hero close to the actual area where he's going to use the monolith. Well, I guess I could hire one in this town and just run him up. Here you go, Nather. Welcome to the Sylvan Undead faction.
Good luck. <laughs> You'll need it. Okay, you don't really have enough to be of service. So that's one way to get through the opening part of this map. And there's a throng of spectrals there. Although I can clearly outgrow the spectral dragon growth at this point. And Raven can easily destroy these mines, even though they're guarded by ghosts. Because water elementals are casters, and in fact, I will take full advantage of that fact. And uh, Raven herself has some spells, so ghosts shouldn't be a problem to deal with. It looks like I win when I destroy Nikolai and not necessarily when I capture all the necro towns. So I do have to be careful because I want to get the stat buildings. And Nikolai might jump me the moment I get up there. Although I think if I'm stronger than him, he'll run. So maybe not. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, this could get ugly. This could get really ugly. How are you doing on mana? Probably don't even need it with the water elemental setup. Alright! Next garrison, please. Shield. Man, look at all this dark magic I'm immune to. And it's undead. I guess if he is Sandro's cloak, though, I, the ability to be immune to it still would be nice. So, that helps. And normally, the game expects you to use Sylvan troops, I think, so... Oh. Well, now. What have you, Orson? Nice attack! Oh, expert summoning, sorcery, logistics. He is... Well, no, he's not my Markal build. He's missing enlightenment, and he has summoning instead of dark. But he does smack of Markal a little bit in terms of that skill setup. Let's reclaim all our mines. I have so many resources, and I'm still not going to get anywhere near enough uh, money per turn this way. Freaking dragons. I think I want to um, bit full movement when I attempt to go through that gate. Is that that's otherwise I'm going to be in trouble. And yeah, you can just uh, take care of that. Nicely done. One more door of an artifact to go. And actually, viewers. I'm going to cut the part here. I am going to explore with my hero, but I'll give you an update before I send anybody important up there or do anything important. So until then, me and team, signing off.